Now I invite you to turn into the cathedral of your own heart. I invite you to sit still and to deepen, to see in your imagination how big your heart can be, how far the horizon of your heart is when you look to see it. Is it like the horizon of the sea? So infinitely large. Is it like the sky when you look up? The Dalai Lama says, no matter what our faith, we each worship at the temple of our own heart. And so I invite you into your own heart now. And as you are there, I invite you to hold the other members of this community, people you've seen online, people you know, people you will never meet or know, to hold them in your heart to hold all of those who struggle, all of those who are in pain, physical pain, emotional pain, spiritual pain, to hold them in your heart, to hold all of those who can't find employment, who struggle for economic security right now, we hold you in our common heart. For all of those who are caregivers, who take care daily of young children or elders, sick or depressed partners or yourself, your own body and spirit. That caregiving may feel tiny. It may feel like you're all alone doing that work, but that care that you give helps the entire world. And so thank you for that care. And we hold you in our hearts. We are there with you in that care. We lift up all of those who are in prison, all of those who are oppressed, who every day have to work extra hard to get the same distance as other people who walk with privilege, who walk unknowingly without the baggage of oppression because of racism or classism, ableism, heterosexism, all the ways that we don't see and don't lift each other into our hearts. May this be a place, may this sanctuary be a place where all people are held and valued and loved. At this point in American history, many of us are thinking especially of those who are suffering because of racism, because of police brutality, because of the budget cuts, which once again targeted the most vulnerable and the poorest. We are holding you. We are with you. You are in our hearts. As we walk about our days, let us remember that this sanctuary, the beauty and splendor and spaciousness of this sanctuary is as near as our breath. And may we remember to take a breath when we need spaciousness, to take a breath and in that breath to touch freedom and joy and happiness. No matter where we live, no matter the situation we're dealing with, may we always know the gift of breath and that we are held in our own heart and the heart of this community. May we all be held in the heart of love.